हाई गाइज होप यू आर ऑल वेल एंड सेफ इन कोविड सिचुएशन आर गेटिंग वर्स एट लीस्ट इन इंडिया सो प्लीज स्टे एट होम एंड बी सेफ एंड लर्न मोर यू कैन लेट मी नो इफ एनी इल्स टॉपिक टूटोरियल यू नीड आई विल ट्राई टू क्रिएट सम वीडियोज ऑन दैट टू आई रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन टेलविंट सी एस एस विथ नेक्स्ट जे एस आई विल क्रिएट वीडियो ऑन दैट टू Finally I crossed 100 subscribers thanks to all of you I am happy but also sad because the view and the subscriber difference is very low so requesting you guys please like share and subscribe this will help me a lot today onward I will add audio too since I am not an expert of video editing and also surrounded by some industry with uh, noises so video might post late so, so let's run the application and let's see what we have right now in on local host 8085 so this is what we have uh, so let me just give some quick overview so we have created some controller some services uh, for the page and one model and similarly we have created some uh, hbs file uh, so okay so here i have iterated on the basis of page and try to show it on the ui in the controller uh, we already get the uh, body page body and we passed it to create page so now i am going to uh, write some code which will uh, save the record in our database so first of all we have a slug in our page model we try to create our slug from the name so we have const uh, slug it will be a page body uh, we have a page body in a name and let i am going to create lower case i'm going to after that i'm going to split on the basis of uh, space and then join join it by dash so so this let me explain this code a little bit so this page dot name dot lower case will convert the character into lower case after that i am splitting the word by the uh, space so that if you have a name like uh, about us about us okay so then uh, we will divide uh, we can replace this space with join so hope it is clear so now i'm going to assign this slug in our uh, page object okay so there are a lot of way you can uh, optimize this code but i am just doing a very really simple way now i'm going to create page pages and with this page body object and after that Uh, it is not required we can directly return these after saving the page but i'm just creating a third variable the response and a wait page dot save sync so a wait only works with a sync so if you don't know about the sync in a wait then let me know and let this return page after that this will come to here page and we are returning the page okay and let me close all of the things and since we were submitting our form by using uh, javascript so let go to javascript and we have a javascript in our public and uh, js and we have custom js okay so here we are submitting the form if you remember we are submitting the form here so right now we need a uh, some tool which we can use to submit the form and send the data to the server so uh, we can use fetch api i am going to use one of the famous library where that is known as axis and i am going to just copy the js script this js script and so i don't want to be dependent on uh, uh, internet so i'm just uh, copy 
the code from this file and as we have already created for other js libraries like for grips and uh, bootstrap so similarly i will create one more entry in lib file um, known as access.js and i will copy and paste this script here here now cancel it and i'm not formatting and now i'm going to import that xs in our home.xs file so that we can submit the form uh, let me duplicate the other one now we have access in our application and now i'm going to write a code to submit the form on the server and send the data on the server so for that i'm going to use access dot post i do the post call to our pages and after that we are going to send name from the input field so we have name value okay name value and after this this will be the then and in then we will get the response and i'm going to use yes six syntax here uh, it's an arrow function so i'm going to use arrow function to just check if we have successful response uh, response dot we can check the status here or or you can directly check you can directly check the data itself okay so i'm just checking the status and this part and let me write a code to show alert message that our page is created successfully so page and i'm going to use the name value and name value again Okay, now I am going to redirect. This is not the best way, but let me try to this like this one. The uh, location data area. Else we can show alert message. Something wrong. So uh, let me change this. Let me fix the typo. on the server and after then we have a catch catch which we can use to uh, error and we can also show some messages alert alert error So this is a very simple code. So let hope it, it works. Okay. So I'm cleaning the logs and I just refreshing the page and uh, inspect the element network. Uh, I have just selected the XHR so so that we can only monitor changes in the API call and name will be hope. And let see. so you can see we already have some there is one error let me check the error validate form is not defined well validate form uh, validate form okay this is a validate form it's really weird we already have checked this in our last Uh, 
answer should be the option. Uh, there was some mistake here, so I just somehow I just removed the T from here. That's why it was causing some issue. So I think it should work right now. Mm -hmm. Just refresh the page. Yes, it is working. Yes, so it is working. So now uh, let's submit the form and see. Oh, okay. So we uh, page home created successfully. If we check the logs, okay, we do not have any logs here. So let me create about a page and see what is working or not. Uh, okay, I just redirected. That's why not showing anything. We have mounted uh, this okay so we just need to change this one and the server should run okay. and now we should see oh. let me also comment uh, that redirect thing for right now so that we can check the logs and refresh the page and now we will see the logs save home page created successfully and we have our page object okay and same for let me try to create one more about us So this is the this was the logic for the uh, generating the slug from uh, name. Okay, so we already have created. Uh, now let me uncomment this this redirect thing and uh, refresh page. So now one thing is missing. We have to uh, we have to show the list of the um, all the pages here. So for that we have a one more page route page route one for us uh, this list one. And let me check the code for this list. We have a list list pages and this is pages and in list pages. Okay. We do not have the code. Okay, so I can create pages and await pages dot find, and we can use this one and return. Okay, so let cross finger and it should work. Yes, so you can see. Uh, okay, uh, there's some issue here. We have a lot. Uh, we have some duplicate uh, uh, home about us, home about us. Contact. We have some duplicate page here. And one more issue: we are not showing the correct slug. So uh, let me go where we have. Okay, this should be here. no problem we, we can delete uh, some of the old uh, some of old records or we can manage on the basis of the uuid okay uh, in next video i will try to add some configuration in the kpss so that we can create our html and save it to database okay see you next video